Welcome and in this session, I am going to give you a couple of writing exercises. These are writing exercises in writing difficult emails. So, given the information that we have already discussed about writing emails as well as about writing style, voice, everything in the technical communication section. So, I want you to bring all that information to bear when you are writing these emails. Okay. So, there are I think four exercises. Uh, First exercise is that uh, suppose you have received a letter from the editor of a journal saying that your paper is rejected and you believe that the review is not fair. Okay. So, you have to write an email to the editor explaining why you want a second review and you should remember that you cannot be aggressive because then the editor outright rejects. You cannot simply complain that the reviewer is not fair because then also the editor will throw your mail in trash, you have to explain why you think it is unfair and it should be done in a proper fashion, so that the editor is convinced purely based on technical grounds that your paper needs a second opinion or a second review. Okay. So, this is the first exercise. The second exercise is that uh, you are conducting a conference, you are the secretary of the conference and you have rejected a paper because it was submitted late. And the author of the paper has written you a very bad email okay. so, and is asking you to include her paper in the conference. Now, you have to write a polite but firm reply as to why you will not consider the request. Please remember when I am talking it is very easy to be sounding polite and firm, but how do I sound polite and firm in writing is the key information. And you should also indicate in your mail that you do not appreciate the tone of the email sent by the author. Okay. So, all this should be done uh, in a nice fashion. So, you are not allowed to shout or be aggressive or be nasty uh, and, and because you are the conference secretary. So, you want to keep some amount of discipline and decorum and you still want to communicate this information. So, this is the second exercise. The next exercise is you want to go to a conference the registration fee is too high and your approved budget cannot cover it. So, you have to write a mail to the organizers requesting fee waiver. Again, the key idea is to explain why you uh, need a registration fee waiver and on top of it, why you deserve a registration fee waiver. And again, it has to be done tactfully. Uh, it is uh, not like you are asking for a favor, um, which is not appropriate for them to do for you. And it is also not that you are demanding something, you, it is not like you deserve it and so they have to waive it. Okay. So, there is a thin line between these two extremes and you need to write a mail which communicates this information that they have to see that you actually are needing it and you are also deserving. The next exercise is that uh, you have attended a conference and you met some very interesting researchers in your area of interest and you have to write them a thank you mail for the interactions. However, the purpose of the mail is to keep the contacts alive. Maybe after one or two years, you are planning to apply for a postdoc position with that person. So, you want to keep in touch with that person, uh, but you do not want to explicitly say that you know after two years, I am going to apply for a postdoc with you. So, how do you do that? You want to show the person that you enjoyed the interaction, you would like to continue interacting and there might be some professional um, collaboration that might happen in the future, but all of this uh, should be stated without explicitly stating it. Okay. So, this is an art, very difficult type of uh, mail to write uh, and you should try your hand at it and some of these emails we will take as submissions and we will discuss some of them during these sessions to understand how they are written. Okay. Thank you.